What's going on guys? Let's talk MotoGP21 man. How do you get better in this game? How do you improve with the physical level of the game at the moment? So if you're interested in that, make sure to stick around and watch this video because I'm going to be showing you my setting I use on Steam, my controller setting, and I'm going to be showing you down the line a base setup that you can rely on to get you better, to get you up to speed and start tuning the setup to your own riding style and preference. For the more we're going to be talking about the riding style you should be running in the game because you've got different kind of riding style in the game and choosing the right one might be the key and answer to, to the problem and I'm going to be showing you the riding style I'm using and uh, I just want to say guys if you're new to the channel you know don't forget to subscribe man hit the like button as well and comment on your way out I really appreciate your help because I do this kind of video a lot and if you are new to MotoGP 21 or MotoGP series in, in particular or two wheel racing game guys I assure you my setup my teams will definitely help you out so stick around guys thinking about quitting the game guys no don't do that man come on okay let's edit it my controller setting man this is what I use obviously I'm using PS4 controller and it's showing Xbox controller here so I'm just gonna scroll down a little bit to show you how I set up my controller and um, which button I'm using to uh, do each uh, maneuvers in the game all right let's quickly head over to my riding aids I always use riding aids on pro level guys automatic braking is off with me assistant front brake is also disabled joint brake is automatically disabled as well braking boot modulation no i don't use all that my transmission is always on manual um it's manual start on again real control settings and cornering modulation is also disabled off track help is also off too guys so this is me this is my personal preferences you know you can start off by using a semi semi automatic uh, gearbox if you're new to the game just to get to get familiar with the game physics and all the things you're gonna be doing simultaneously in order to uh, get quicker in the game guys all right man let's head over to my pc let me show you my steam controller setting at the right side on your steam set um, page you're gonna go to the big picture mode and go to setting you see controller setting click on that as, as i told you earlier I was, i'm using ps4 controller go to that you know you can set and tweak your calibration setting also identify your your uh, your new controller do everything you want to do with it i haven't been doing anything with it because i'm just using the uh, base setup from steam and then you can also tune the game uh, i mean the controller uh, you know according to the game you're playing like i'm showing right now you go to library go to the game you're playing manage game go to controller configuration and as you can see you can tune a lot of stuff to your own preferences and see what suits you better and what really good for your riding style as well. I haven't done anything to it to be honest. This is just the standard setting Steam provided me for this game. All right guys, check this out man. MotoGP21 at the right side of your screen, MotoGP20 at the left side of your screen and check out my braking point on both. On the same track, Red Bull Ring guys. 150 braking marker at MotoGP20 and on MotoGP21 I, I was needing to break about 100 to 150 mid earlier so the reason why is MotoGP20 is just more fast on direction changing a little, a little bit forgiving on when you hit the uh, front uh, brake very hard so my first tip would be to break earlier guys all right guys in order to get fast in the game guys you need to get smooth man you need to try and be delicate on your throttle input your braking input and also your input in changing direction and for that to be able to help you need to get smooth i mean like michael jackson smooth criminal style man you need to get very very smooth guys you've got six different kind of riding style in the game guys and in order to access that you need to go to customization either rider um, button there scroll down to riding style and the first one is valentino rossi balanced and i think the second one is centered moving on to the third one is i think showed out I mean, elbow to the ground and um, showed out from uh, Quateraro and uh, uh, body out from Mark Marquez and as last uh, old school. All right, so my go-to riding style is either Mark Marquez body out or Vinales elbow to the ground. And I would recommend this to you guys as well. Uh, in order for you to get smoother, you need to explore those riding style which really matches your own, uh, you know, game input in order to unlock your potential in this game, guys. All right, moving on to the setup I've been using for the past couple of weeks, guys. I put this setup together in Bruno, and I would recommend Bruno as well to you guys if you are grinding for a setup. Bruno is a 
track that have a lot of flows and also the mid thigh section that really puts your front brake to the to the uh, uh, to, to the test and how you're able to uh, flick the bike uh, load movement from right to left at the mid sector. So uh, this setup I'm sure will help you in all the track as well because I've been using this setup in multiple tracks and I've been been very very consistent. So this setup is a uh, stable setup so you can uh, refine and tune it to your own riding style but I'm sure this setup will definitely help you out and get you on the way on getting better bit by bit guys. Alright guys we are nearing the end of this video and I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, this will be the first video in a series of videos I'm going to be releasing the coming days and weeks on how to get better so if you're interested in that do consider subscribe to my channel and hit the like button as well and just be on, on the lookout we're going to be talking about the setup i'm using the many of couple of uh, differences that MotoGP 21 is included in the game compared to um, previous MotoGP 20 games i mean MotoGP series games and i'm going to be talking about the difference between the front axle and the rear axle the difference between uh, them when you're using different uh, uh, tire compound on them and uh, the difference between the uh, brake disc what you, sh you should be running for different kind of bike in the game because some bikes are better to ride on a smaller front brake disc um, compared to like uh, bigger brake disc so if you're interested in any other kind of video so you know stay put on my channel I hope you enjoy the video once more and I hope you uh, find something here and that I help you improve your gameplay and have a bit more fun with the game so i'll see you at the next video guys stay safe out there peace